the streets of the capital ring out to calls for change again. Thousands chanting they must all leave. The scenes were repeated across the country by crowds unhappy with interim president Abdul Qadir Ben Salah and Prime Minister Nouradine Badoui. Ben Salah is supposed to only serve until elections on July the 4th, but he and other government officials are seen as little more than remnants of the regime of President Abdulaziz Bouteflika. Protesters are demanding a complete overhaul of the political system. We have to remain patient. When a regime ruins a country and steals the people's money, humiliates us and runs the country the way they want for more than 20 years, we can't say that after two months we are tired. We can't be tired. We have no right to waste this revolution. <laughs> Many protesters are opposed to the planned process of transferring power to a newly elected government. They fear that some members of the old Bouteflika administration may be given roles. We'll be in the streets during Ramadan and Eid. We will be here until you all go away. We would like to change the system entirely. We would like to begin again from the start. This is in order to start everything from the beginning, to reset everything. There is no dialogue. This government isn't legitimate. We won't negotiate with it. We tell Gaid Salah to change the government, then we will talk. If you don't, then we won't stop. Many want Army Chief of Staff Ahmed Gayed Salah to step in and remove the political elite. But he insists protesters should follow the constitutional process. Salah helped push out President Bouteflika after 20 years and has promised to crack down on corruption. While some Algerians support him, others are skeptical whether Salah can be part of the far-reaching and sweeping change they demand. And until their sweeping change, protests across the country look set to continue. Ijoma Ndukwe, Al Jazeera.